So it's Kevin Christopher George here of Green Merits Consulting. My tech trend for 2023 is focused on the HR crisis and building IT system resiliency. So my name is Kevin Christopher. I'm with Green Merits Consulting. And Green Merits Consulting serves as an, an advisor or coach to the nonprofit sector. We focus on research, selection, and contracting and data analysis of cloud-based software solutions for nonprofits and small medium enterprises. We've helped organizations in healthcare, community services, employment services, and foreign aid and support, and then the list is growing. Where do we find ourselves currently? Just for some context, the past couple of years have presented nonprofits with a change in how things are done with remote, with the move to remote work. So we're focusing on a remote virtual workforce and the tools and solutions that are required to do work effectively. The second big one, a change in the level of need of those seeking services provided by nonprofit organizations. Going through the course of the pandemic, I think we've seen an increase in the number of requests for service and support by those that have been highly impacted by the pandemic. And then finally, a change in who does what due to a rapidly changing HR slash staffing crisis in the sector. When we take a look at some data that came out from Statistics Canada just recently, 32% of nonprofit sector employees believe retaining skilled staff will be an obstacle over the next three months while 36% are concerned about recruiting skill staff. So obviously there's a concern around, we've got this increasing need, we've got all these virtual tools and resources, and the concern comes around, how do we make sure that we retain our skill staff and get new staff on board? This is going to pressing the nonprofit sector. And so where this takes us is to like, what do you do about it? And I think this is where we're going to start to see this trend come along in 2023, is that we need to start thinking about how to set up and manage our systems to handle these large staff changes that are in the, the sector. So first and foremost, adopting a cloud first mentality. The benefit of this approach is that you're going to reduce the need for on-site or locally managed systems and data. I still work with some organizations who have need for local mail files and local applications that are installed on their computers that require additional remote assistance, in some cases, shipping of laptops and hardwares and systems so from one place to the next. Whereas we have to start treating our computers, our laptops as a connectivity device to resources and processes and data that is stored in, a, in the cloud and has a less reliance on local applications. And second one, centralized user administration. So there's a bunch of different cloud apps containing information about your organization. Access needs to be easily and centrally managed. Think about tools like 1Password, Okta, a bunch of, a series of tools out there that can allow you to centrally manage all your different cloud applications so that it's easy to grant access as well as remove access when people come and come to and, and leave the organization. And then finally, create repeat, repeatable processes. Onboarding, offboarding, training, focus on how to quickly get new staff members productive. I've worked through some onboarding and offboarding processes that were really manual, really time intensive. And we have to find a way to streamline those kinds of things and make them easy using workflow and processes that are much more efficient and easily to easy to reuse and to manage. And it, as I said, the trend for 2023, from the perspective of Green Merits Consulting and myself, will be on building and implementing resilient systems that can withstand rapid and increasing changes in nonprofit staff. Thanks a lot. This is Kevin from GreenMerits.com. Uh, you can reach me at kgeorge at GreenMerits.com. Thanks again.